You put your back foot. Whether he's fundraising for the little boy suffering from heart disease and cancer, making sure there's food on the shelves, or stocking the blood bank, Scott Van Duzer and the Van Duzer Foundation have a passion for a cause. It's been a snowball effect from police officers that passed away with small children to a Boy Scout whose family couldn't afford to bury him. And uh, yeah, it's it's one thing after another. You ready? <laughs> oh! <laughs> Affectionately referred to as the Pizza Man, since 2008, Van Duzer raised nearly half a million dollars for St. Lucie County families, brought in more than 200,000 pounds of food, and with the help of Florida's blood centers, Be a hero, get collected nearly 4,000 pints of blood. Sometimes you think about, wow, I really wish I could go do something, but until it happens to you and then you really see what happens, Van Duzer Foundation was just, it's, it's unbelievable, it really is. It's more than just the money, it's about community support and you don't, you don't realize how tight of a community and how much you need the community support until you need it. I think it's outstanding that they, um, give back to the community and help people out in time of need and everything. And I will definitely be here to be one of the um, volunteers on the next three or four. How do you do it? By hosting fundraisers at his Big Apple Pizza store in which all proceeds, including salaries and tips, are donated to the featured family and making sure Florida's Blood Center's Big Red Bus is parked right outside. Our goal is to help one family a month and that's what uh, our original passion was. I in doing that, we came across a young boy named Gibbs about two and a half years ago that his dad actually works for the Florida's Blood Center and uh, kind of, you know, those stories touch your heart every once in a while and here's a little boy that had brain cancer and um, needed blood. And, and that's what really started it. And, and I wasn't a blood donor before that and I consider myself a pretty good person. And, and I saw there was a problem there. His problem solving skills led to the creation of Be A Hero Day. That's a single day blood drive that netted more than 1,000 units of blood. He saw how that impacted his community and he since inspired cities and counties throughout the state to not only host their own Be A Hero Day blood drive, but to sign proclamations declaring November 2010 as Be A Hero Month. Now in its third year, Be A Hero Day is spanning two days and will involve seven St. Lucie County High Schools, veterans organizations, and the Boy Scouts of America. Plus, more than 40 different companies are competing for the coveted Blood Bowl trophy. I want you to hold this mic. Ladies, I want you to fight over it. Van Duzer's efforts aren't going unrecognized. Florida's Blood Centers named Van Duzer as its first ambassador. We are now going to bat Scott officially as the first ambassador People Magazine featured him as a hometown hero. He received the Jefferson Award for Public Service. The Boys and Girls Club named him as their Man of the Year in 2010. That's the same year the Florida Public Relations Association named Van Duzer as Communicator of the Year. During the past two and a half years, the Van Duzer Foundation brought a taste of the Gator Nation to St. Lucie County. We got Tim Tebow, go Gators! Celebrated a night of heroes with legendary coach Don Shula. Gave blood donors a chance to step right up and meet the Mets. He is a locally based organization and uh, communities that don't have a Scott Van Duzer need a Scott Van Duzer Foundation type of setup because they do wonderful things. Um, just phenomenal, uh, unbelievable. I'm so proud of him. But he comes from his heart. Scott's great. He's 100% uh, full throttle all the time. <laughs> Van Duzer's taken the concept of pay it forward to the extreme, and as his foundation looks toward the future, they hope to continue working to save lives through blood donation and lend a helping hand to families in need.